Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a durable function, Azure durable function. So number one, what is an Azure durable function? So basically a durable function is a stateful function that runs on a serverless environment. So you can create your function and you can deploy it onto a serverless environment and then you can use that function. So in this tutorial, I assume that you have your Microsoft Visual Studio up and running. So this is my Visual Studio 2019. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have your make sure you have your Azure storage emulator running. So in my case, I have my storage emulator running. This is my storage emulator and uh, just install that. It's a small file. Install that and uh, make sure it's running. And the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to create a new project. So I have created started a new project and just search for functions here. And today we're going to be working on Azure Functions. So select Azure Functions and click on Next and give it a project name. So in this case, it's I'm going to give it as a Durable Function and click Create. OK. So now what do we need to do? So in this case, we're going to keep it as empty. So the thing is we're going to create an Azure function project with no triggers. It's going to be empty. And uh, the storage account is going to be storage emulator. I want to keep it as storage emulator. So your storage emulator must be running. Right. And just let this load. And the next thing you need to do is click on create. Right. So now that our application has loaded, the next thing we want to do is we want to add functions to the application. So go ahead and right click on your project and add a new Azure function. So click on add a new Azure function and, and verify that it's Azure function and give it a name. So um, in this case, I'm going to give it as sample, right? Sample and add. And when you get to this new Azure function, you're going to keep it as a durable function orchestration. So we're going to be working on with durable functions. So click on this, select this. And click on OK. Right. So our sample durable function has been created. So just go ahead and take a look at this. And uh, take a look at this. So this is a sample that we've just created. And uh, the next thing we want to do is we just want to test the function locally. So first test it locally. Uh, so in this case, I am going to have to press F5 to test it locally. Right. Allow access. And just give it some time. It should be done in a bit. Right. So as you can see, our first durable function is up and running. It's locally. So what we want to do is we want to copy this URL and uh, input it into the browser so that we can test it out. So go ahead and just copy this and go in your browser and paste this URL to test it and hit enter and right so if you look at this uh, the idea and everything is that so in the sense that it is the function is up and running it is working so yeah we can see it here so as you can see the HTTP request has been acquired and the next thing we need to do is we want to copy this status query get URA so just copy this and try to and paste it into the uh, browser and then you will get your request to execute the request. So just go ahead and copy this. Copy this and copy this and paste it. All right, and this should execute your request. So in my case, my uh, the project name is sample and all of this has been created. And as you can see, the data from the function is shown over here. So the first thing we we pasted in the URL for the function and then we had to request the uh, we have to get the request execute the request. So as you can see this data is here and uh, the function is uh, running. So the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, just before we publish the project into Azure to Azure uh, yeah so we're going to have to stop the application of course. 
And uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, a new solution explorer. So now that we have the sample application up and running, again, you can modify according to your necessity. So in this case, we're in your solution explorer, when you want to publish this to Azure, right click the project. So right click the project and click on publish. So if you can remember, we did the same thing when publishing .NET Core applications onto Azure. So this is just like that. So the next thing we want to do is Azure Functions Consumption Plan. So we're going to keep it as consumption plan. We're going to create a new consumption plan. And yeah, run from package file. Yeah, so it's going to be create profile. So you don't need to change anything over here. So click on create profile. And give it some time. Right, so now that you've, now that you've come over here, so now that you've come over here, you need to set these criteria. So in my case, I'm not going to set the name. So I'm just going to keep the name as, the, as it is. And if you're not logged into your account, your Azure account, just go ahead and log in. And my subscription will be Azure for students in this case. At resource group, I've created a new one. So just go ahead and create a new one, durable function software. And Azure storage, I'm going to create a new one as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new one and it's going to be called uh, durable function. Okay, I'm going to keep it as durable function and uh, a durable function and I'm going to just go ahead, account type should be, yep, yeah, I'm going to keep it as, oh, name is not available, please choose another, uh, one, two, three, is that allowed? Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and click on okay. And so this is going to be my new one. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and click on create, if this is okay, yep, yeah, you should just go ahead and click on create. And give it some time. Right, <clears throat> sorry. Right, so as you can see, uh, our configuration is on release. Just check out this summary and just copy this because you're going to need it in a bit. Just copy this for now and click on publish. So just click on publish and give it some time. Okay, so now that we've published our application, we can test it online. So again, it depends on your application. You may have a different durable function. You may have modified it accordingly. So when you want to use this application, you just want to, all you need to do is uh, the URL that uh, was assigned. So the URL that was assigned when you were publishing the application, you're going to have to use that URL and uh, call it in your applications. For example, if you're using an application and you want to use this particular function that's on your Azure, then you're going to have to use the URL and um, call it inside the application. And that is all for now. So that is what durable functions are. They are just a uh, function or a subset of Azure functions which allow you to hold stateful functions on a serverless environment. So again, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, that's all for today. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial.